total stranger. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Bring It Around! First of all, I think that the Klein Revolution, if you want to call it that, is really a manifestation of the, uh, of the people's revolution. We're seeing uh, people across this country with placards and banners and people shouting, no more taxes, get your spending under control. That tone, that tone of the public, certainly I was hearing it. Yes, he was. In fact, he heard it so loud and clear that he went ahead and did exactly what he told voters he would do. Once elected, he and Finance Minister Jim Denning discovered Alberta was worse off than they anticipated. It was literally sinking financially. They set out to balance the budget by cutting spending and holding the line on taxes. In doing so, they provoked loud and angry protests. You know, uh, there was more than the odd night that Ralph would phone me at 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning and say, Jim, I'm having a bitch of a night. Uh, are, we, are, are you sure we're doing absolutely the right thing? Klein and Dinning made a great team. They never wavered in their commitment to right the financial ship of Alberta. What they did went viral. As we all went to meetings of ministers, and especially as I went to finance ministers' meetings, and there was Paul, Paul Martin sitting at the head of the table, there was a, there was a, it sort of looked at just sideways, but, but there was a sort of a respectful uh, I'll call envy, but a, but a respect for, hey, these guys are A, doing what they said they were going to do, and more importantly to we politicians around the table, they actually are getting re-elected. The Klein team was re-elected three times and in the process transformed the country. We have to recall that when Ralph and Jim were elected and put into the positions of authority, the first thing they did was nothing. They consulted deeply. They consulted with the people through their blue ribbon panel commissions and its roving mandate through the province of Alberta. That took almost a year. Then they thought deeply, conceived of a plan, which was a full 20% across the board cuts, and then they executed. Having executed, the genius that Jim Dinning brought to the table was then to measure the results and the consequences of the cuts that he had authored under the leadership of Ralph. That combination was simply unbeatable and has application today to consult deeply, think carefully, execute thoroughly. I think what Jim Denning and Ralph Klein uh, understood as well was that if you could get government to focus on a few core priorities, if you could get the bureaucrats and the politicians to focus on getting the budget in balance, on not overtaxing the population, on making sure that your primary industries understood their investments were secure, then things would take care of themselves. And in fact, that that's the proper role of government. For Klein, his time in office was a bumpy road. He survived a number of political storms and personal challenges only to see his popularity increase. His is a story that no one would have predicted. He grew up in the old Calgary neighborhood of Tuxedo. And like so many of Canada's journalists, he dropped out of high school and landed a job as a television reporter. Along the way, he covered Calgary City Hall. He was fed up with what he saw, so he threw his name in the ring. Ralph realized that he had gotten to care a great deal about these issues. He went on to win City Hall three times, never losing the common touch. And it's that common touch that observers and allies all agree endeared him to voters. I think, you know, in, in Central and Atlantic Canada, premiers aren't supposed to look this way or act this way or promote the kind of policies that we do. And having said all that, you're not supposed to succeed politically with that kind of uh, uh, background. But succeed he did. And this evening, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation wishes to recognize former Premier Ralph Klein and Finance Minister Jim Dinning by presenting each with the CTF's Tax Fighter Award. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation is a non-profit, non-partisan citizens group that is dedicated to lowering taxes, reducing government waste, and insisting on greater government accountability. From time to time, the CTF recognizes the achievements of extraordinary men and women from all walks of life who have made significant and unique contributions to the cause of taxpayer emancipation. 
The list of past recipients includes media personalities like radio talk show host Dave Rutherford, National Post writer Lauren Gunter, Winnipeg Sun writer Tom Broadbeck, who all, in the course of their work, have articulated the virtues of smaller and accountable governments. Former B.C. civil servant, the late Mel Smith, who helped to draft the country's first taxpayer protection laws and wrote a seminal book on the folly of current Aboriginal policy in Canada. Leaders like former Ontario Premier Mike Harris, who brought in what was, at the time, the country's most comprehensive taxpayer protection law. And finally, the CTF's own Andrew Crooks, who for 11 years served as the chair of the CTF, ensuring it remain a strong and vibrant organization that comes to the aid of and recognizes Canadians who make a difference to taxpayers. We are pleased tonight to add Ralph Klein and Jim Dinning to this honor roll of Canadians who have stood up and stood out for hardworking taxpayers.